In our holiday gift guide for 2021, I named this BCD, the Transpac Voyager XT, as my pick for the BCD of the year. Here's why. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see all of your smiling faces. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome to this, the first review video we've got for 2022, where we're gonna be taking a close look at the Transpac Voyager XT BCD from Dive Right. Phew, that's a mouthful. If you're new to our channel, please consider to subscribe. It really helps us out to keep making these videos for you. And also you should know, this is not a sponsored review video. We don't do that here at Divers Ready, unlike other places you may see dive gear reviewed. Scuba Labs. Shh. But in the interest of complete transparency, you should also be aware that Dive Right have sponsored other content on our channel. I try and be as impartial as I can. As with everything we review on this channel, I'm gonna tell you things I loved about this BCD. I'm gonna tell you things that I hope will be improved on future iterations or things I didn't care for. And I'm gonna tell you who I think this BCD is best suited for, because I will never tell you that that is the perfect BCD for everyone, for every dive, everywhere, because there's no such piece of equipment that exists. So I try and be as impartial as I can, but only you can decide if I'm biased or not. And that's entirely up to you, you know? As with every product we review, I have dived this product extensively before making this video. I have, at the time of recording, at least 70 dives. So I'm very, very happy and ready to share my thoughts. Okay, let's dive into it. Let's start then with the positives. Comfort, number one, comfort. Again, Dive Right are just killing it with comfort. Like the previously reviewed Hydrolite here on this channel, this BCD system, the newly updated Transpac soft backplate and harness, takes a leaf from the backpacker's manual. The anchor points for the shoulder straps and the fit of the waist belt are designed like a backpack that you would use for multi-day through hiking to distribute the weight evenly across your back. Having had a 20 plus year rugby playing career, this for me is an absolute highlight. The soft back plate is ridiculously plush. The thickness of the cushioning, particularly in the lumbar region, is very comfortable. You actually look forward to putting your dive gear on. 
when you're wearing this BCD. Little details like the shoulder straps, for example, the length is adjustable, not just at the sort of pull tabs here in the traditional style, but also that you can move where the padding sits on your shoulders by adjusting it at the top of the straps is just tells me that the design and the detail that went into this was very much focused on the diver's comfort. The next thing I love about this BCD, and I know you guys are gonna love it as well, is the weight system. If you watched my Spiegel Grove video, you know that I found hundreds of accidentally dropped weight pockets littering the sand out there next to my favorite wreck. I have a huge box of them sitting out there that I sell on the secondhand market. I have never, in my, all my years of diving in Florida, found a dive right weight pocket. A standard weight pocket mounts to a BCD in a horizontal manner like this, which is easy to put in when you're on the boat, and it's great for divers with terrible trim. If you're looking like a dog on a bicycle and you're upright, then your weight pocket's are there. But if, like me, you prefer to be horizontal in the water and looking like a badass as you swim along nice and horizontally, well, now that weight pocket would be pointing down with only a flimsy plastic clip holding the entire load of the weight which gravity is still acting upon to prevent from an accidental weight release. The dive right weight pocket system is inserted into the transpack vertically which means that in the water when you're in trim the weight is in line with your body position and not putting stress onto the fastening system. Now if you add to that one of the best fastening systems I've ever seen which still manages to be quick release, a double triple super strong velcro and a chunky pinch clip over the top then your chance of accidentally dropping your weights, losing your weight pocket and having to pay exorbitant amounts of monies for replacements is incredibly slight. Oh boy, here we go. The third thing that I loved about this BCD is the bungee system. Yes, let's open the whole bungee wing or not can of worms. Brace yourself, comment section. Here they come. I do not dive a bungeed wing for technical diving. I know the benefits, I know the risks, I do not see a great gain in benefits over a non-bungeed wing to justify the increase in entanglement risk, however you want to put it. I also believe that people who work themselves into a frenzy on scuba board, Reddit, etc., over failure points, failure points, failure points, do their best diving in their armchairs with their keyboards, which is probably where they should stay. Want to eliminate all failure points from your scuba system? It's really, really easy. Don't go diving. End of story. This is not a bungee wing, not in the sort of most commonly accepted definition of the term anyway. And the reason I say that is because the bungees on this wing are not really designed to be tensile enough to restrict gas movement through the wing. That's not the purpose of them. Instead, the placement and design of these sort of more gusset-like bungee system, if you will, is more about keeping the structure of the wing stable and to avoid the dreaded tackoing and the folding up. Look, that's very, very complicated. Basically, it's going to keep the wing nice and firm and even, and it's going to help your trim. Next thing I love about this system is the modularity. It is a true backplate and wing system. Yes, this is an example that Dive Right sent me, is with the Transpack, which is a soft backplate with a stitched in harness. It's not in any way Hogarthian. But if you want a more solid stainless steel backplate, if you want a more Hargothian style harness, you can swap out the Transpack for a traditional hard backplate and webbing and keep the wing. Or if you want to switch this BCD out for a smaller wing uh, for warm water travel, for example, you can keep the harness all fitted to you, the nice soft backplate, and just switch the wing out for a smaller, more travel friendly version. The advantage of this being now you can configure the gear for how you dive and all the different types of diving you do and you can add or swap out pieces as your diving evolves without having to start from scratch. So if you get into the modular system, it's a lot easier to carry that gear with you as your diving progresses. Next thing I loved about this BCD is just its durability. I've said it before in many, many videos, I am very, very tough on my gear, but I also want my gear to stay looking good because one of my pet hates in scuba diving is seeing a dive professional who hasn't invested in new gear in decades and whose gear is all old and sun damaged and dog-eared and dirty and just, they just look like they've been dragged across a field before they came to the dive class. I don't think it's a very good sort of mentorship 
mentality to turn up with daggy old dive gear as a dive professional. I have beasted this BCD. I have left it to dry in the harsh Florida sun after dives, which you are definitely not supposed to do, and it still looks brand new, brand, brand new. The combination of the Colorfast dies that they've used on the little accent pieces in combination with the really strong Cordura nylon means this BCD is going to last me a long time and look good doing it. So before we get to who I think this BCD is best suited for, let's go over a couple of quick negative points or things I feel could be improved in future iterations. First and foremost, you need to add trim pockets. I don't understand why they're not included with every BCD. Uh, the pockets are sold separately and I would strongly recommend buying them. If you're a big guy like me, all your air spaces are from here to the top of your body and all your weight is sitting on your hips below your lungs, which means if you just get in the water without the trim pockets on, even with your best effort to get into trim, you're going to be slightly chest up. So just adding two trim pockets to the top Kanban strap and putting about 10 to 20% of your total weight in those pockets is just going to help you be into that sort of, you know, nice trim position. Now, other BCDs in the same category, price-wise, come with trim pockets already. So I brought this up to dive right before, they know my feelings on the subject, but that's the deal with majority. Sometimes you get everything you need and sometimes you have to buy the optional extras at an additional cost, but at least you get exactly what you want. The other thing I think it was a little bit different for me that I had to kind of adjust to is the crotch strap being one and a half inch webbing instead of two inch webbing, which you're more used to with a traditional Hargothian backplate and wing setup. Um, there is increased flexibility. This is meant to be a recreational setup, so I accept that. Um, but there is also a smaller crotch D-ring uh, and it's stitched through the same sort of plastic loop that attaches to the waist strap. So I'm not sure I would trust uh, it to take the strain, for example, for a DPV's pull for long scooter rides, as I would a traditional stainless steel D-ring and slider setup. But again, also, this is only meant to be a recreational kit. So you could, if you wanted to, swap that out or add a stainless steel D-ring if you're using a DPV recreationally, which I know these days a lot of people are doing. Also, there is no dedicated tailbone D-ring uh, for lift bag or other accessories. There's just this kind of angled D-ring at the back there, which actually anchors the crotch strap. Um, these, of course, could also be added separately. So who is this BCD best suited for? Well, actually, I'm going to bring the Hydrolyte back in here and we can do a bit of a comparison because if you haven't watched the Hydrolyte review video, I'll link it up above there. But I got tons of questions after... Uh, the Hydrolyte review video came out with people asking, oh, is the Hydrolyte right for this? Is the Hydrolyte right for that? Uh, and, and the answer a lot of the times was no, and I was pretty clear in my review video about what that BCD was intended for. So let's now do a bit of a compare and contrast in kind of a which BCD should you buy? Okay. Example one, you're strictly a holiday only diver. The highlight of your year is your week diving in the Red Sea or Cozumel by the Hydrolite. You are a weekend warrior diving where you live and also traveling extensively to warm and cold destinations by the Transpac Voyager XT. You travel a ton for work and want to sneak in the odd dive on your business trips and want the comfort of having your own gear by the Hydrolite. You are a dive professional working on a busy touristic dive center clocking 500 dives per year by the Transpac Voyager XT. You are a year-round diver who is mad keen on DPVs, on photography, by the Transpac Voyager XT. You need modularity because you switch between different cylinder configurations regularly by the Transpac Voyager XT, okay? The Voyager XT, absolutely, I would probably switch out the Transpac for a harder backplate that is your cold water setup. I've got tons of people asking me, oh, I dive in a dry suit and I need 25 pounds of lead. Is the Hydrolite right for me? No, it's not. It was never intended to be that BCD. The Transpac, meh, soft backplate. I prefer a hard backplate and then you need less lead. But at least for recreational cold water diving, temperate water diving, Mediterranean, winter Caribbean, that kind of stuff, I would absolutely go Voyager XT, undoubtedly. 
In summary then, this is a hardy, well-made BCD with reliable lift and secure weight options, tons of accessories, and above all else, just super comfortable. Not to forgetting, of course, you've got the Transpac soft backplate, which is incredibly modular. I took this BCD to South Africa, I dove it on the sardine run. Great choice for cold water travel diving. Definitely a better option, as I said, than the smaller, lighter Hydrolyte. If you are looking for an accessible way to switch from a jacket style BCD to a more modern backplate and wing setup, we've made tons of videos about jacket style versus backplate and wing style, how to set up a backplate and wing, all of that good stuff. The Transpac Voyager XT combo is a great option. I would highly recommend this BCD for any dive professional who racks up a significant amount of dive count per year and just needs their gear to be durable and last them a very long time. That is absolutely a beast. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, as always, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, and make your next deep dive on that subscribe button 2022 style. Descend onto the like button if you got value out of this video, or share it with your favorite dive buddy. I will, of course, link to the BCD in the description of this video below, so you can find out more information about it. That will be an affiliate link, so purchases made through that link may earn me a small commission and no additional cost to you, and I thank you for supporting our channel. This was your Divers Ready review of the Dive Right Transpac Voyager XT BCD. As always, guys, dive safe, dive often.